Hey everyone, it's been a while since I've done a little Let's Draw video, so I figured I'd do one right now. I don't have much to do. Just life stuff going on. Need to do something to get my mind off things. That was about a little Spider-Man here. I've been reading him lately. Volume 4 of the Omnibuses. Always did like the classic Spider-Man. Grew up on the original Steve Ditko comics with some collections my dad had. Yeah. Just pretty standard shapes. Bigger chest. Back neck, shoulder blade area, shoulders, let's see, yeah, probably have him the classic I love you sign for the web shooting, yeah, that should do. Yeah, I always... The Steve Ditko ones were easily the best to me. So, so interesting. All those villains they had that they'd make up. Scorpion, Doc Ock. Just so awesome. Gotta remember, he's a younger hero, so he doesn't quite have the... Captain America build or anything. Have him looking up a bit. Make the eye area. He's got those giant, giant wide eyes on his costume. And yeah, put the webbing down like that. Yeah, when I first saw Deadpool, I thought that was, like, some new Spider-Man outfit that they'd just, like, taken all the design off of. And I was just thinking, why is he wearing such a lame version of his costume now? But obviously that's uh, not what it was, so... Yeah, it's kind of hard to be classic 60s Marvel for me. The Silver Age really was their age. DC always was pretty boring by comparison in the comics. Yeah, I don't have a real good way to situate myself back here. Since I got this camera holder here, it's... Uh, Need a proper chair to sit in, and I do not have that with... That is the least of my worries right now with everything that's going on. My car, my brother, all of that stuff. Little muscle. Little spider symbol. Yeah, the show that really captured him the best, I feel, is Spectacular Spider-Man. Like, it may not be the most faithful art-wise, but when it comes to the spirit of Spider-Man, that show, like, beats out all the others easily. Yeah, if I showed this to one of the African guys at work, he'd be going nuts, because... He just loves whenever I draw Spider-Man, always asks if he can have a picture. I've offered him one before, but he never takes it for some reason. He just always asks about it and asks to have it. And it's very odd with him. He's an odd guy. He, like, all he does is work. He took off for vacation. He's on third shift. He took off for vacation so that he could come to second shift to work for his vacation with no pay from second shift because he was on vacation. He's like, no one can figure him out. But 
He's always got something to say. He's a young guy. He's an interesting character. There's lots of really interesting people you'll come across in a factory. Yeah, the issue I was reading tonight of Spider-Man was uh, Flash Thompson came back from the Vietnam War. And, well, I guess he's on break or something. And Gwen Stacy and Harry are there. And Spider-Man has to protect Flash Thompson. Which he always ends up doing, even though Peter hates him. And they have their little rivalry thing. But since Flash is his biggest fan, can't really argue with it. And yeah, he's always getting into some kind of trouble that Spidey has to get him out of. Doctor Strange got involved. There were, like, these Vietnamese, like, temple people that were trying to kill Flash because they thought that he destroyed their temple in the war and it had been the U.S. military and... It was a whole... It's always interesting to see the craziness that can happen in the old Marvel world. No, well, he's actually coming out pretty nice. And not as John ramita -y or Steve ditko -y as I could do, but... This is just sort of me relaxing and drawing. I was working on a Mario Bros. arcade picture earlier, a digital one that's colored and everything. Uh, yeah, down here. That's where the rest of the webbing is. Yeah, Spider-Man, he was... He was one of the characters that rarely ever changed what his outfit looked like. Like, until the 2000s, other than the black suit, he pretty much just had this one look. And it's just so iconic that that's easily the best look to me. Red, blue. Oh, right. I always like to add the Steve Ditko underarm webbing. It's just so classic feeling and... I know they probably stopped doing it because it was just so much detail to draw, but I always like adding it. really gives a... Mm, just some more detail to such a... Well, I can't say it's a simple design, because it has all this detail already, but it just makes the character pop more to me. Darken the back arm so that it can differentiate from the back webbing. Let's see. Pelvis. Yeah, it is kind of sad. Like, I was reading one of the comics earlier before the, uh, before the Vietnam issue, and it's... It's like where, uh, I think his name's Dr. Smith, he's the guy that always made the Spider Slayers, the robots that Jameson would send after Spider-Man. And I never got why Jameson was never put in jail for all that he does. Like, he sends robots through the city after Spider-Man. How does he not get locked up? But, like, there was a part where... Peter's at a party or a gathering of friends, and he's... There's something going on he has to leave, and Gwen is like, It's okay, we'll have the rest of our lives to talk to each other. And knowing what happens to Gwen later, that is kind of sad to read in retrospect. But... It's decades old now. It's just, just kind of sad. Hmm. <sighs> yeah. Growing up, it was always Spider-Man or Batman I would watch, and 
I'm doing a terrible job on that underfoot. That is not how that goes at all, I don't think. I think it's usually just this solid black color to signify that that's where it ends. No need to add the detail down there. It wasn't really keeping consistent with that. Yeah, growing up, Spider-Man, Batman, the 90s shows. I always liked Spider-Man more, because, like, Batman never, ever smiles, like, at all. He's just grumpy all the time. The episodes were good, but Batman himself is, uh... Well, he's not the brightest, most fun-loving character. Flip, flip. And let's add some shading. Just some quick... Rub in the graphite. And now I realize I should have done the webbing last, because now I'm going to have to go over it. Alright. But I always like to shade that way. It's how I do my comics, since I just usually do pencil for that. Alright, alright. There we go. Should probably get the head, make that look a bit 3D-ish. There goes a lot of stuff, but who cares? Lighten the eyes. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Darken that. There we go. All right. Should be getting to. Go over the webbing again real fast. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, when you smudge the graphite, you gotta go back over the line since it's all smeared. Okay, little muscle there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think we're about done. Now we gotta get the leg. Yeah, I made him a bit... Well, I guess it's fine. He's been pretty skinny before. I'm looking at you, Ultimate Spider-Man. Yeah, that guy from Third Ship Fold. Third shift will flip out over this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Face webbing, black in the eyes. My knees are starting to hurt. One thing that is a problem, I think, with me is that my hand, like, naturally wants to sort of twitch when I'm focusing the pencil. And so I gotta press down hard or just make real quick lines, which is usually good. But if I have to work on, like, inking stuff, then I gotta, like, really focus to make my hand not be trembling and all that. Yeah, I should probably review some of those comics at some point. I've got like 
I really want to get the second omnibus, because I have one, and I have four, but the second one was just way too much money, so I had to go with four. And I know they're reprinting the second one in January, so I can't wait for that. <sighs> okay. Well, there's like no detail on that hand. Let's see. The fingers there? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, who cares? It's all webbed up anyway, so it'll get blocked by the strand in the foreground. There we go. Darken this just to give some detail to the figure. You gotta have the area that the web actually comes out of here. Let's add back in webbing. Yeah, graphite's the one that I use the most. Other than that, it'd be watercolor and Sumi ink. Added too many lines there. Not gonna be able to tell what that would be. Yeah, watercolor is usually how I color, and then just go over that in ink. Or just do it digitally. That's pretty easy, too. Okay. Yeah, I had an odd family growing up. They had stuff from all over. Books and comics all over the world, just in one house, any time period. Mostly Silver Age for American ones, though. Yeah, had the neck a bit blank there. Let's add some of this. Yeah, Gwen was always... That was always a sad part of the series. But I guess nowadays they have the whole Spider-Gwen thing they can use for the character. But for the original 616 universe, it's always gonna be tragic. Which is sort of the point of Spider-Man, he just has the worst luck out of any hero, supposed to be relatable and all that. Yeah. Part of why I like him so much, he's always been one of my favorite heroes ever. And hopefully this didn't turn out too bad. Either way. Here we go. Yeah. Kind of elongated the head now that I'm looking at it straight on. Eh. That's the problem with drawing at an angle. Yeah. yeah, there we go. That'll do. Ta-da!